Visit TrueNatureCenter.com to find more information and support materials on how you can awaken to the ultimate freedom inside. We also look forward to connecting with you on our social media network. On the daily basis of your normal existence, it's a matter of letting go. Not letting go according to your ideas. You, know, with, you hear all these beautiful sayings, you know, the, these truisms right here, right now, this moment, you are already it. And the, these are true. It is true of you. And the deeper you go in a given moment of just letting everything be the way it is right now, the clearer you will feel this for yourself without mindful interpretation. You understand? Without all the baggage that tells you how you're being here. Because I assume most of you here understood enough to the degree that you would like to be in the place where you are totally free. But that one that's wanting to be there is the very thing that keeps obstructing you from recognizing and being the a priori of that knowing. It's utterly simple and it's utterly true of you as well. Right now, in this moment, the aliveness, the energy, the juice of existence that has you being alive because you cannot unalive yourself right now. True? So something's going on already that has you being before all of your description about yourself. There's something here that's alive. Not out there that you've got to find that's alive, but something's going on right now in this moment that you are capable of recognizing as the core, the juice, the aliveness, the central point of you. Because you can't get away from it. There's, there's no possibility of getting away from it. So it's finding that point to the point where you are relieved of the angst of your ideas, where you are relieved of everything else that has you feeding, creating, sustaining and building a model of something that is less than what's already true. And only you can choose to do this. I can't choose to do it for you. I can't choose to do it for anyone but myself. So nobody else is going to give this to you. And if your choice on a daily basis is to keep perpetuating the myth of who you think you are, then no one can undo that for you because you are the one creating that. So on one hand, it sounds like the same old dribble that you hear everywhere and read in all these thousands of books that talk about all the stuff, or otherwise they speak about what it's like to be this. You don't want to know what it's like to be this. Not really. Just be it. You want to be this one or not. And it's easy enough to talk about it. It's easy enough to describe it. It's easy enough to, to build up the energy to a degree where you can all feel it for yourselves. But it's tomorrow morning or 10 minutes after the talk. Letting go. Letting go. And letting go some more. The infinity of this one. The in See, we have all these ideas about, about what this one is. Every one of those ideas is going to come undone because it ain't anything like what you think. Every level that you go through, and there are many levels, so it's, even though it's true of you and free of you and available to you right now, and any moment of deep-seatedness or deep-letting go-ness, where you just simply hear and everything's in its perfect place as it always is. Because it's never not so. 
But it doesn't matter to this one whether you be this one or not, because this one simply already is. It's already living through you while you're trying to be something less. That's okay. It's okay for you to be less if that's what you want to be. But at some point, that life, because things aren't going the way you want them to be, or you haven't got the heart to admit that perhaps you might like that in a given moment, which wraps up against the next given moment, and we're swearing and cursing again. Everything is equalised in this moment. Everyone is equalised in this moment. Search for True Nature Center on our social media network.